Orthocryl LC is generally applied to the plaster model that is isolated but not hydrated. Wire elements that have already been formed can be fixed to the model in the usual way with wax. A separating agent is applied to the dry model and spread evenly using a brush. Remove residues and beads from the separating agent after 30 minutes. First, the expansion screw is completely surrounded with Orthocryl LC. It is important that the expansion screw is completely embedded in the acrylic and that no air bubbles form. The expansion screw is then inserted back into the hole that is lined with wax. In the next step, Orthocryl LC is applied until the appliance has both the shape and the thickness required. Upper jaw approximately 3 mm, lower jaw approximately 4 to 5 mm. The appliance is now finished and is cured in the light curing unit. The air inhibition layer must be removed using a cleaning liquid after curing. Appliances made with Orthocryl LC are finished in the same way as with Orthocryl cold polymer material. Cross-cut hard metal burrs should, however, not be used. Hard metal burrs with transversal toothing or burrs for soft acrylics are better suited. Pre-polish the appliance with silicone polishers or sandpaper and then with pumice powder and polishing brushes. A high polish finish can be achieved with an Edelweiss acrylic polishing material and a cloth polishing brush. Orthocryl LC is suitable for the manufacture of removable and fixed orthodontic appliances. It can also be used for the fabrication of anti-snoring devices and drilling templates for implants. Orthocryl LC does not contain methyl methacrylate or dibenzoyl peroxide.